carrying bouquet and handkerchief and gloves, proud of her height as when she lived. She moves with all the careless and high-stepping grace, and the extravagant courtesan's thin face, with slimmer waist air in a ballroom wooed. Her floating robe, in royal amplitude, falls in deep folds around a dry foot, shod with a bright flower-like shoe that gems the sod. The swarms that hum about her collarbones as the lascivious streams caress the stones, conceal from every scornful jest that flies her gloomy beauty and her fathomless eyes are made of shade and void with flowerish sprays her skull is wreathed artistically and sways feeble and weak on her frail vertebrae O oh, charm of nothing decked in folly, they, who laugh and name you a caricature, they see not, they who flesh and blood allure, the nameless grace of every bleached, bare bone, that is most dear to me, tall skeleton. Come you to trouble with your potent sneer, the feast of life, or are you driven here, to pleasure's sabbath, by dead lusts that stir and gold your moving corpse on with a spur? Or do you hope, when sing the violins, and the pale candle flame lights up our sins, to drive some mocking nightmare far apart, and cool the flame hell lighted in your heart? Fathomless well of fault and foolishness, Eternal alembic of antique distress. Still o'er the curve, white trellis of your sides, the sateless, wandering serpent curls and glides. And, truth to tell, I fear less you should find among us here no lover to your mind. Which of these hearts beat for the smile you gave? The charms of horror please none but the brave. Your eyes, black gulf, where awful brooding stir, brings giddiness. The prudent reveller sees, while a horror grips from beneath, the eternal smile of thirty-two white teeth. For he who has not folded in his arms a skeleton, not fed on graveyard charms, reeks not of furbelow, or paint, or scent, when horror comes his way, that beauty went. Oh, irresistible, with fleshless face, say to these dancers in their dazzled race, proud lovers, with the paint above your bones, ye shall taste death, musk-scented skeletons, withered and tinnious, dandies with plump faces, ye varnish cadavers, and grey love laces, ye go to lands unknown and void of breath, drawn by the rumour of the dance of death. From science called keys to Ganges burning stream, the mortal troops dance onward in a dream. They do not see, within the open sky, the angel's sinister trumpet raised on high. In every clime and under every sun, death laughs at ye, my mortals, as ye run, and oft perfumes herself with myrrh, like ye, and mingles with your madness, irony. The Dance of Death, written by Charles Baudelaire, narrated by Jordan Harling. <laughs>